Today's message involves in-groups and out-groups, and how God wants none of that for us humans. In Acts today, Peter gets this message loud and clear in a dream, a trance actually, about how it's now okay to eat formerly unclean, forbidden foods. I was at prayer in the city of Joppa when in a trance I had a vision, something resembling a large sheet coming down. And a voice said to eat the food items on that sheet. But Peter, as a faithful Jew, at first says, no way. But after three persistent admonitions, he gets it and teaches it to other Jewish Christians. God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles, too. God seems to be weaning his people away from narrow to wide understandings of God's love and mercy. And pairing this passage with today's Gospel from John 10, we get the widest possible meaning of God's ultimate goal, that is, to have but one human family in one group, with everybody in. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. A great challenge then, at that time and right up to this very moment. Are we ready to invite relationship with people from the various other Christian churches and from non-Christian faiths? Clearly, we have a long way to go with that vision. Oh God, bring all people of the world into new understandings of one another and of you, one that opens us up to new visions of unity and cooperation. Shine the light of your truth on all religious groups who seek you and your full, your ultimate aim in our creation. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Let it be.